So their policy is if you're not going to abide, you have to be off the plane. You have to be off well, the they can, Then they can remove me off the plane. You and your whole family. So then yeah, that's be a fine. Federal offense, and then you and your wife will be in jail, and your kids will be in okay, that's, Oh, okay. So my kid, wait, so my wife, oh, we're going to be in jail and my kids are going to be what? It's a federal offense if you don't abide by I bought that seat. Okay, Not, I, I understand it's from Mesa, my husband's out here. Right. So you still right, I, I paid, for, I got him a ticket on another flight so that my son would have a seat. Sir, and you're I, saying, and you're saying you're just going to, you're going to give that away to someone else that when I paid for that seat, that's not right. I understand, but you'll, that Mason's not here, so the seat can be, so you, you need to, no, you need to do what's right. Yeah. I bought the seat, and you need to just leave us alone. Yeah. So Mason's not here, so Mason cannot be the one that owns the seat. I no, I paid for the seat. I bought the seat. You can, you can it's look and see. Doesn't matter. He's, he's my, it's my son. It's, 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 it's On the way out, the flight was open, but even then, it was difficult to have a lap child. So we decided to get him a ticket on an earlier flight so we can use his seat and put, and put the car seat and let the kid sleep because it's a, it's a red eye. He won't sleep unless he's in his car seat. So otherwise, he'd be sitting in my wife's lap, crawling all over the place, and it's not as safe. So we decided to do it that way and have, let him use his seat. I, I paid for the seat. This is what's ridiculous. Just, you know, we're just here to just... No, no, I know. Them, you know. I know. We're not pulling no well, more, no physical now. Okay? No, I know. Um, and I'm not... Look, I, I, I'm not trying to cause a problem. Yeah, it's just what's... But, you know... I, I I believe in standing up for what's right, and I, 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 I paid for the seat, and why not? How are we gonna handle this? They, just, they, they, they need to do what's right. I bought this seat. I understand, but it's a federal policy so that the names of the, the individuals are supposed to be in this. I don't mean the policy. That's not true. That's not true, actually. It, it, no, it's not because people move around seats on the plane After all the time. It's in the air. After it's I've been I've been on many flights where they've said take any seat it's wide open. I'm just telling you the federal policy that we go on. And they violate separate and they violate federal policy on a regular basis then because I've been on many flights. But if I don't, that's what they're gonna do. I just want to introduce myself. I'm Jenna. I'm sorry. I know you guys are frustrated. Hi. I'm sorry. Um, I already know the situation. I've heard you guys said I know the man. Other than the what's going on, is there anything else I can do? I know you guys are frustrated now. Basically, what it comes down to is not adult people, it's FAA, because he's two and under. Okay, I got a solution. He can sit in her lap. Right. Okay, and, and, and then we can take off, and then we can put him back in the car seat. If that's what the FAA rules are. No, the with, bottom him, line with is, him being, no, they're not. We, we're pulling him up right now. With him being two, he cannot sit in the car seat. He needs, that's the purpose of the infant and He has to sit in your, in your arms the whole time. He can, like, technically, he couldn't even be on a seat. He, he, he rode on a car seat the whole way out here on, the, on a Delta flight. Then, that, and that's unfortunate. Unfortunately, I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just trying to do the best I can now. But what I'm letting you know is, unfortunately, he, he can't be there. I wish I could help you guys. Like, I really well, wait, do. Wait, what you're saying makes no sense because we flew out here on a Delta plane and he and sat in a car seat. According to the rules we're pulling out right now, he technically cannot be in a car seat because he's in the arms. Okay, they're well, doing it right now yeah. and they're going to clarify before I miss speak. Okay. So I'll just stop you there. They're gonna do it, they're doing it, and they're gonna print it out in black and white so that way whether I'm wrong or they're wrong, that doesn't matter. The well, situation the is this plane is, is not gonna move until we get you guys up. And that's fine, we can all sit here all night if that's what you guys wanna but do. That, okay, but that's wrong. I, and I, I get paid, that it's wrong. I, paid, I really do. I paid for that seat. I understand, and that person yeah. left, and then now you don't want anyone there. So you want another passenger not to sit there the whole flight. I get that. I paid for the seat. I, and I understand right. that. I understand that. Okay, but, but if, but if, you're, if, you're, if your stance is that he cannot be in that seat when the plane takes off. Okay, no, no, he cannot be in a seat at all because he's an infant And I get that it was handled, handled. Wait, wait, he can't be here at all? No, in a seat. He can't He can't occupy a seat because he's two years old and that's FAA regulations. So, no, like said, no one's ever told them. How did we the get perfect. out here? I don't know. And that's what I'm and saying. And also, too, how did we get through security with two kids? Two car seats <laughs> go all the way through your your gateway and, and through the out. gate, and, and 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 then they come down and say that we have to get off this plane, and and that's that's the seat you're talking about. So right, you're physically that. gonna remove my. I'm my, not, I'm not it, gonna. Well, it's out of my hands now. I, I'm just letting you know from this point on, this plane will not go anywhere until you guys choose to. Now you can stay here, and we can all just chill here. That's what I was. I'm just trying to help you. This is all I can do. I'm I'm it's only in my hands now. Trying, trying so to help, uh, trying to help us would have been not overselling the flight and not trying to force us 
to, to get him out of that seat that I paid for and holding this whole plane up. It would have been a lot easier for you guys to just say, not have that standby come right. down and, and, and we that. could be on our way. So, I get so, that too. I wish it would. I so, wish it so why didn't that happen? Why, and why isn't that happening? I don't, I don't know. But as far as I know, they can know, he can no longer occupy that seat. So, like I said, this is, I'm just giving you what's left. So it's your choice. We can sit here for the next four hours if you want, five hours. Sit here until tomorrow, but this plane will not be. And so I told you guys, I wanted to give you guys the courtesy to introduce myself. And I get that that's not how you how is that giving us a courtesy? I, like, I'm, you know what? I was just coming to say hi and try to try to be, but I apologize. I shouldn't be sucked in. I'll let them handle it, and then you guys can go from there. Okay? Let's go. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. I think that there is that an option. Is that an option for us at this point, just to hold the baby so that we can take off, or are they saying no? Okay, ask ask them. I got two infants and my wife. We have nowhere to stay. There's no more flights. Are we so supposed to do sleep in the airport? No, no. You should have thought about that before you oversold the flight. I paid I for that seat. Okay. I paid for that seat. Sorry, so now, so we're getting, so we're getting kicked off the plane. Which option did you want to take? Did you want to get off by, on your own? So wait, you what are we, what are we supposed to do once we're off this plane? That is not up to me and the rest is everybody. Wants well, it to should go be. Home. It's not. At this point, you guys are on your own. What about our bags? We'll have to get your bags off. So, you, so they're going to go onto the plane and get our bags off? Then. Yes, they will. What are you going to do? What are we going to do? We stand up and get off or we get Okay, off. here's the thing though. There's things that my kids have to have that are in those bags. We will get all your bags off, sir. Is that the one? Want to go? Right? Okay, so stay here. Okay. You guys are unbelievable. Great customer service. Awesome. Great job. We need, we need someone to help with their car seats to carry them off. Hold on, please. 